One book is all it takes to change your life. Around 2012, I read The Alchemist by Paulo Coelho, and it put me firmly on my path to seek out my personal legend, to find what I always thought I was born to do. Now that book, at that exact specific moment, led me on a very different journey in my life that I never ever could have predicted otherwise. Now around that time, I was feeling one primary emotion, lost. I wasn't sure what I should really do with my life. I couldn't get my life together. I wasn't clear about my direction going forward. And honestly, if someone even asked me what my goals and my dreams were, I couldn't even give them an answer. I mean, I remember coming down to the dinner table one night with my parents and they asked me why I was being so quiet. And as a literally grown adult man, I cried because I felt so incredibly frustrated that I hated my job, I hated my life, I hated the direction my life was going, and honestly, I couldn't see a way out of it. That I couldn't see any evidence that in five years, life would be any better. And honestly, that scared me. But one thing from The Alchemist rang true for me, that everyone should follow their own personal legend or their destiny. You know, the back of the book says, to realize one's destiny is a person's only obligation. And so I took that to heart at that time. I decided that no matter what my parents wanted for me, I was going to ignore it and do what I wanted for me. No matter what my friends wanted for me, I was going to ignore it and do what I wanted for me. No matter what my teachers and professors said, you should do this, you're smart in this field, you should go into this career, I ignored that. And I really trusted this adage. To realize one's destiny is a person's only obligation. But the way that The Alchemist inspired my life was very interesting because when you look at it linearly, the pieces don't make sense, but they do connect in the other parts of your life. I bought a one-way ticket to China thinking that I'd become a Kung Fu master and a monk, and I had this incredible experience where I learned to speak, read, and write Chinese and traveled all over parts of China, stayed in monasteries, learned from martial artists that absolutely beat me up in the park, and that led me to my next quest which was actually becoming a doctor of acupuncture and Chinese medicine. Where, again, once again, I stayed in monasteries in China, learned from great Chinese medicine doctors, had some of my own lifelong illnesses fixed from this medicine when the conventional specialist couldn't. And that journey led me to one other final journey, which is where I wrote my books, Master the Day and Milk the Pigeon. And yes, all of those things happened from that one spark, the seed that was planted from reading The Alchemist at the right moment, at the right time. Now, if you guys have read my books, you know that I have both of them on Audible, which is a platform that I literally use every single day for listening to books, as that's my favorite way to consume information these days. And most writers typically are big readers. The Alchemist is on Audible, and it's one of those books that will help you get aligned with your own true self, to ignore the voices of the people around you and follow your own star. My book, Master the Day, is something that's on Audible and can help you figure out what tiny daily rituals can change the direction of your life in a really specific way. Not like some philosophical aspect, but in a very tangible way. What do I do right now to change my life? And my book, Milk the Pigeon, is the Bible I wish I had when I was 20. It answers the three questions that have pestered me since I was young. What do I do with my life? How do I build an incredible life? And how do I build a life worth living that's meaningful? Now, thanks to my sponsor, Audible, I literally use Audible every single day. So it's easy to endorse someone that I literally host my own books on, but also listen to books on myself every day. 10 pages a day of a book or 10 minutes is all it takes to change the direction of your life. One simple idea can be all it takes to book that one-way ticket to China, to write your own book one day, to go back to a doctoral program or a medical program, or to finally embark on the quest and the path back to your true self. 10 pages or 10 minutes a day is all it takes, guys.